Hello, fellow preppers. Tis I, the Rumpled One. And thanks again for the responses. It looks like my flashlight uh, videos have, uh, I don't know if I should say touched a nerve, but say sparked a conversation. Well, you know, when it comes to gear, you, I really think you have to uh, use your brain and evaluate. Um, the first thing you should do as a prepper, you, you, you've just made a decision. You want to be a prepper. You want to prepare. And, you know, that's the thing. You want to prepare. It doesn't matter what you call yourself. It's the fact that you want to prepare for whatever, you know, comes your way. So the first thing you should do is take inventory of what you have. Because you don't know if the stuff's going to hit the fan today, tomorrow, the next day, next week, next month, this year, next year, you don't know. So, first thing you do is you take inventory. You can literally, you know, paper and pencil, write it out, type it in a spreadsheet, doesn't matter, but see what you have first. And one of the reasons for that is, is so you don't wind up duplicating. You know, I got a lot of stuff, let me tell you. And, you know, every now and then, I wind up buying something I already had because I forgot I had it in the first place. Uh, I've done that with tools before. You know, I'll be in Sears or Harbor Freight, and I'll see something, oh, I could probably use that. And, you know, two years ago, I had done it before. So, you know, take inventory. And number two, the next thing is after taking inventory, See where you're lacking, because you probably want to fill in those holes before you improve in some other area. You know, that, that's one choice. And when you're making these choices, you want to make the choice of getting the best dollar value. It might not be the best, th the best thing out there. I mean, you know, do we all drive Mercedes or Beamers? You know, Ferraris, no. You know, those are finely crafted automobiles, but they're out of our price range, right? So, you know, you might wind up buying the best Ford that you can afford. Or you might um, wind up buying a bicycle. I don't know what your budget is, but the point is, is that you want to get the best dollar value. Um, I saw one... Uh, prepper site yesterday and I thought they had a good idea. It's something I've seen in um, other areas where they say okay between zero and twenty dollars you know what's what's the best you can get you know between zero and fifty what's the best you can get you know between zero and a hundred what's the best you can get and sometimes you know between zero and fifty um, it was the same item that was between zero and twenty-five because that item was just a really good uh, dollar value. So, you know, that's something to consider. Now, on the flashlights, you know, I was kind of talking about the hundred and fifteen dollar flashlight. Well, you know, there might be times when it really does make sense to have a hundred and fifteen dollar flashlight. You know, if I was going to be hiking in Mount, Mount Everest, I guess climbing Mount Everest would be a more accurate description. Um, I think I might, I think I'd probably want to have a $115 flashlight. Because if I'm only going to have one, I'm going to probably want the best that money could buy. Because I'm going to put myself in a situation where my life may depend on that flashlight working. Or if I was, uh, you know, doing some caving. And, you know, going underground in these places, you know, crawling on my belly for, you know, yards or miles. And, you know, I needed that, that light that, you know, was waterproof, you know. Or, you know, if you were a diver and you needed a good watch, you know, you probably want to have, you know, maybe a 500 or 1,000 or 2,000 or 5,000 dollar watch. Because... You know, you want an accurate reading of the time because you don't want to get the bends on the way up. So, you know, you have to use your head on these things. And, you know, just don't go out there buying this and buying that because probably right now you can't afford it. So, you know, in summary, once again, take inventory what you have. 
because you know part of being a prepper is doing the best you can at the time with what you have you know with what's available and the second thing is is um, you know focus on getting a good dollar value because you know we don't want to buy a knife that you know the first time you use it and it breaks so you know just use your head and no matter what just always remember if you fail to prepare you're preparing to fail.